and welcome back to another Camp America video. Today I am going to be addressing or myth busting common camp myths. Wow. First statement we're going to be talking about is everyone. Not everyone. In all seriousness, you're a bunch of 18 to 25 year olds in a confined space for three months. So people do like each other, you know? It just happens sometimes. I've said this before, but don't go to camp just thinking like, oh, I'm gonna get with this amazing American or international boy or girl, because that's just not a vibe. If you meet someone there and something happens naturally, then yeah, go with the flow. But that's just not the reason you should be going there. There's a lot funner things to be doing at camp than someone else. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Statement number two. They take your phones off you. Give me my phone, man. Hey, you like what's wrong with Give you? Give me my phone, in my camp this was false. <coughs> Obviously they don't like you going on your phones and technology in front of campers, but like nothing really happened in my camp. They just ask you not to use your phone throughout the day, which is kind of understandable. <laughs> Each camp is different, so I have heard of it happening, but they should give it back to you in the evenings, I assume, because you know, you'll want to text your mum and let her know you're okay. Number three, you lose weight. Um. No, definitely put on weight. <laughs> I mean, not that weight is a super important factor, but I did find that the boys were all complaining about losing weight and the girls were all complaining about putting on weight. A lot of people think you just like don't have time to eat, but obviously you do, you're not gonna be starved. I actually found that the food that you eat at camp is a bit more unhealthy than you'd usually have because obviously they're trying to please hundreds of kids. Also, you know, you'll have dinner at camp and then you'll have the evening off and be like, oh, what should we do? Chipotle? Maybe? And then you end up having two dinners. So, yeah, it's not really true. Some people might lose weight, some people put it on, but it's, I would say, false. <coughs> Number four, you live in the wilderness. I would definitely say the more traditional camps are more out in the wilderness, like parent trap style. My camp was definitely more traditional, so it was cabents, that's what we slept in. But if you go to a different, more modern one, then you might be sleeping in dorms. You know, I've only been to my camp, so I can't really comment on others. But I would say this is false, because there's many different styles of camp that you might be going to. So it all depends. But obviously, before you accept the camp, you're going to see what it's like. You'll see pictures, you'll go on the website and see if it's your vibe. And the last one, get drunk every single night. Definitely false. Uh, I've never been on a ski season, but I've heard that it's very messy. It's very like, get drunk all the time, party hard. But you have to remember, camp is primarily for kids. So you're gonna be with them most of the day and most evenings. Obviously on the weekends, you know, you can have your own little socials, you can go to a bar, do what you want. But no, you don't get drunk every night. That's kind of nice. Like, I don't know if I'd want to. And it's nice to have something to look forward to at the weekend if there is some sort of party or some sort of social event going on. Camp America is a very social thing to do. You meet so many people and it's like, you don't really need alcohol to have fun. I can't think of any more myths to bust. Maybe my myth busting journey ends here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it helpful and all that jazz and if you did then feel free to like, comment, subscribe and I hope you enjoyed it and I love you all and bye bye. Okay, bye. See you next time. Um. Oh, I'm in a massive daydream right now. Missing someone.